Hi everyone, I'm kicking off my outfit of the day. Today is Sunday and it is not raining, believe it or not. It's not the greatest of days, but it's dry. <laughs> so what am I doing today? It's already one o'clock. What, what am I wearing and where am I going? So uh, I went to the gym as usual, could not run. I was completely exhausted. My body is shot. I went too many days in a row and did not give my body a rest. So tomorrow is definitely a rest day. Uh, I came home and I cleaned my basement. Uh, as I've said before, we have a bunny rabbit down there and he trashes the place. Uh, if any of you have any want, any desire to get a rabbit, speak to me before you do, because they're a lot more work than we had anticipated. Uh, I would say they require more attention than a cat, all right? So I would say less than a dog, more than a cat. Um, so yeah, I was down there cleaning the place out and yeah, so nice and clean for about five minutes and I'm sure he trashed it as again. So, uh, other than that, I, you know, got ready, took a shower and it's, you know, had my breakfast and it's already one o'clock, you know, so yeah, time for lunch already. So what am I wearing? I am wearing, I'm still trying to wear my new with tags items that might shift later this week as it's supposed to get pretty warm. Um, in like in the 70s and moreover, um, not as it's only supposed to be warm, but I'm going to start to run out of new tag items, which is good. <laughs> so I am wearing this Kins, Quince cashmere sweater. I love this sweater. I think I'm going to order more from this company. Probably not right now. Um, maybe like when the season gets around and I start wearing my sweaters, if any of them need to be replaced, I'm going to replace them with some from Kins, Quince. I think I'll probably get a black one next and maybe retire some of the black sweaters that I have. So it's just a plain V-neck, beautiful soft cashmere, nice and thick, um, very plain. I paired it with uh, a, my white democracy straight leg jeans and uh, a tan belt, which doesn't go perfectly, I know, but I think it works. And I paired my, hopefully you can see these, my leopard heels which I got from a Stitch Fix. They're Violet and, Violet and Red, I believe is the name of the company. Um, love these heels. They're extremely comfortable if any of you are interested in them or that name brand for shoes, very comfortable. The jeans I got through Amazon, not this past summer, but the summer before. And yeah, this is my outfit for today. Um, I got this inspiration from a Pinterest look, uh, saw it and I said, I like that together. So I decided to recreate it. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everyone, it is 8 a.m. on a Monday morning and I figured I'd show my outfit before I have to jump on the computer uh, and I, before I get disheveled. <laughs> so today was definitely a rest day for me from the gym. I woke up around six, lounged around until about seven, took care of the bunny, uh, took a shower, ate my breakfast and decided to pop on this outfit which I had hanging because it was another new with that tag item that I have not worn yet. So first is this RD style jacket that I got from Stitch Fix. Um, it was on my wish list. My stylist sent it to me and I couldn't pass it up. I just thought it was so cute. Um, underneath I have this white button down from Calvin Klein that I also recently bought. It's more of a fitted button down. And I have on my black ponty knit pants uh, from Wit and Wisdom that I got from a trunk club a couple years ago. And hopefully you can see my shoes. They're my pointed Chanel inspired shoes. And who are these by? I think they're by Ann Klein. I can't be 100% positive, but yeah, I got these from Macy's. And this is my outfit for today for working from home. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everybody, it is 20 to eight and the sun is not quite up yet. So it's a little bit dark in here. Uh, went to the gym. Today was the start of our Hell Week, which means eight intense week at, uh, workouts over the week of Halloween. Um, this is like my seventh or eighth year doing them, um, and they're different every year. There's always in for some surprises. Today was a high intensity workout, but Carolyn did not take it to a high intensity. <laughs> Carolyn does not go to a high intensity anymore. Carolyn pretty much just has one one pace. <laughs> All right, so I took a shower, took care of the bunny, ate my breakfast. Here I am, all before eight o'clock. Um, I am wearing this sanctuary sweater. It's a cotton sweater that has the Henley style buttons. It's a very relaxed style, which typically isn't me, but sometimes, you know, you're in the mood to be chill and relaxed and not so buttoned up. With it, I paired my Olive uh, Level 99 joggers, uh, very soft, stretchy and comfortable, but not sweatpants. 
And I'm sure you can see, because I've tested this out numerous times, my shiny black loafers, which I also got from Stitch Fix. So the sweater um, I ordered on my own from Freestyle. It's Sanctuary, again, it's cotton. Um, and the shoes I got in a fix. And the joggers I purchased on my own directly from Level 99. And this is my outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday hump day and another outfit of the day. I am continuing on wearing my new with tags items. When I get towards the end of the week, I might have to shift because we're going back to summer. <laughs> I don't know why, but we're supposed to hit 80 at the end of this week. Um, I'm happy for it, but it kind of throws a whole monkey wrench in my fall items clothing. So what am I wearing today? Today, it's only supposed to get up to 70 as a high. I am wearing this cashmere sweater. It's thin and lightweight enough, and because it's a natural fabric, it won't be too warm, at least for me. Um, this one I got at Macy's, it's Charter Club. It was the only place really I could find an affordable red V-neck cashmere sweater. I was specifically looking for that. And I have to tell you, this is nowhere near the quality of the Quince one. So I will definitely be buying my cashmere sweaters from Quince from now on. Uh, with it, I paired a pair of loft jeans that I think I got like circa 2020, or maybe, yeah, 2020, 2021, somewhere around there. Um, I bought them not because uh, they were on style, because wide leg jeans were not on style then. I just bought them because they were different, and I was getting sick of the skinnies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, these have been in my closet for a while. They have their released hem. I have paired with them my Life Stride little pumps that are kind of like a Mary Jane style. The Mary Jane style pump is the only type of pump I can wear. Otherwise, I can't seem to keep them on my feet. And the same goes with ballet flats. Everyone says, oh, ballet flats are so comfortable. I can't keep those damn things on my feet. I need something with a strap to keep them on my foot. And uh, curling my toes to keep them on my foot does not make them comfortable. <laughs> so this is my outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi, everybody. It is Thursday and a crazy morning so far. So I went to the gym, did an insanely hard workout, including prisoner jump squats and three 700 meter rows and ran 2.65 miles. Went straight from there food shopping because I'm almost out of my turkey, it was out of my peppers, out of my potatoes. <laughs> so I picked everything up, brought it home. Um, I quickly chopped up my uh, peppers uh, and threw a one batch in the oven, just one batch. and. Um, I made myself a turkey sandwich, had that, my cashews, my protein chips, my potatoes, went down, fed the bunny, uh, took a shower and put away some laundry, made the bed. Here I am, eight o'clock, supposed to be on the computer now. We'll be going there in just a minute. What am I wearing today? Well, first place, I want to say I looked at the footage yesterday of my red sweater and jeans outfit and those jeans got to go. They looked terrible on me. I don't think they were flattering at all. They will be getting purged from my closet. Um, today I am wearing the cut from the cloth uh, coated burgundy jacket that I purchased from Stitch Fix. It has a raw hem here on the bottom. It, um, yeah, it's cute. I have it paired with the same way I styled it originally, the Daniel Rain Top, which has been sitting in my closet forever. It is a blouse, so I don't wear blouses as much anymore. But I figured, why not? And I paired it with my gray Lila Ryan pants that I also got from Stitch Fix probably like, gosh, two years ago. They don't get worn that much, but why not? <laughs> and my gray um, Pell Moda little wedges, and they're very, a very modest wedge. And I think I got these from Nordstrom Rack. And this is my outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everybody, it is Friday and it was a rest day for me from the gym, three days in a row and I think I had enough. <laughs> so uh, I just had my nutritionist appointment this morning. I did not like the results of that. We'll talk about that another time. Um, today I am wearing a white top that is new with tags to me. I got this top at Marshalls, believe it or not, for $13.99. It has the smocked here at the waist and the peplum style. Um, I like that a lot about this top. It's uh, like a waffle knit type of fabric. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I even like it with the high neck because it has other details that I like. Um, I paired it with my 
sepia brown uh, jacket from White House Black Market. And I paired them with these jeans, which are going into the donate pile after today. So these jeans are from Express. They're a boyfriend style. I like the fit of them a lot. I just don't like the fact that they're so heavily distressed. I got these jeans years ago, and I just think it's time to retire them. <laughs> and I paired them again with my uh, leopard little pumps. And this is my outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everybody, it is Saturday and my last day of styling for this week. And uh, today I am breaking the new with tags edition because it is going to be 80 degrees and all my fall items are too warm. So I decided to pull out something that I have worn before, but only once before, um, so that it gets one more use out of before I put it away. So it is just this little tank that I got from Ever Eve. I like it. It's kind of like the 70s style. It is a, like a ribbed sweater knit. And over it, I have paired this ivory loft cardigan. Now, when I got this top from a Trendsend, they sent it to me with a different ivory cardigan, which was just much more expensive. And I said, you know what? I can get an ivory cardigan at loft. And that's exactly what I did. The uh, skirt is by Sanctuary. So they also sent me um, an outfit with a tan skirt, an ivory sweater, and this top in my Trendsend. So what I do is I love the outfit, but the skirt one didn't fit. And number two, I said, you know, I think I can also get recreate this outfit by doing it a little bit less expensive. Kept the top, got the skirt for about 30 bucks on sale at Bloomingdale's. And I think the sweater was probably about 35 or $40 at most from Loft. And I paired it with my cogs. Um, so you're probably going to ask me, where are you going? What are you doing, Carolyn? Um, it is Saturday. I went to the gym this morning and only did a uh, lifting class. I didn't do any running today. It was a type of class where all you do is lift weights. Um, so it was actually a little bit less strenuous for me and not as exhausting. And I am heading up to see my mother-in-law, who's over an hour away from me. And we're doing a little shopping today. I also wanted to give you some updates. My husband's eye is 100% better. My friend thanks you very, all very much for your well wishes. She is on the road to recovery, but she is still um, getting therapy to get better. And um, let's see what else. Oh, a lot of you commented about my hair. I haven't done anything different. Um, I got it cut and colored a month ago, but not anything in the last like couple weeks. So. Uh, I don't know what's happening and why it's behaving. I just, you know, I do the same thing every day. I typically shampoo and condition it, turn it upside down, blow dry it with some mousse, and then I spray it upside down a little bit too to give it some volume. And yeah, that's all I do. <laughs> it takes me about 15 minutes to do my hair every day and about 30 seconds to do my makeup, which is just eyeliner and mascara. And that is it. All right, take care and see you next week for another week of styling.